Hey, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to my first look at a game known as No Plan B, a prologue, a demo if you will, for a game coming soon to Steam in the style of a game we took a look at previously on the channel called Phantom Brigade. This game allows you to control time and control soldiers in order to save the day with a tutorial, training, random mission generator, a campaign mode, challenges, and a skirmish mode. It seems quite promising and the only thing we can hope for is more good games and fast. Thanks again for smashing that subscribe button as we're fastly growing towards 1 million subscribers. So thanks to all the Raptorians who are smashing that subscribe button and of course smashing the join button to become members, getting access to all sorts of different perks, daily giveaways, and so in the discord so if you haven't become a member smash join and become a member today thanks again for smashing the like too helps the channel to grow and now on with the show we've completed the tutorial already there's quite a bit of things to learn in this game in small little morsels tiny bites that really helps you to understand what the game is all about without getting too in depth in the missions there are a few things that aren't explained yet like for example how to equip your soldiers with weaponry before the battle if you like yourself the tom clancy rainbow six style of games or any of the swat games this allows you to pick what types of weapons you go into battle with as well so grenade types weapon types ammunition maybe and uh, of course you can also choose to go with a few different soldiers as well there's also different styles to these missions this one first one known as fog's death is an elimination low threat mission that we just have to go and eliminate one or two people there's other styles too including infiltration exfiltration and even some other ones down here such as domination and they get really big there's huge maps and of course we get to command up to uh, three maybe four or five soldiers in the future this is all they have completed so far that will be available in the full game. Let's go ahead and jump in now to Fog's Death and see how it works, as I'm still learning a lot about the game, too, just after completing the tutorial. Here it'll show us exactly how things play out, and you can see the dotted lines on the screen. That's the orders that we'll be giving to each of the, uh, I guess, SWAT officers, or I guess we'll just say it to our unit in order to clear the room and save the day. Now, they indicated that there's only one uh, soldier for us to command here. It looks like they've already got some orders to throw flashbangs and stuff. How does this work out? Let's see here. We delete those orders. Oh, can we can we actually equip? Oh, it looks like they were like doing a tutorial here or something. I, I don't know exactly what that was. Uh, let's go ahead and select our other soldier. Can we get them into the line? Ah, okay. So we can have pizza come with as well. So our first soldier must have already had like a shotgun or something with them. So let's grab the pump action shotgun. I don't think we have to give them ammo. We just choose weapon types. Yeah. So we'll go with the uh, shotgun. We can also go with the uh, submachine gun. And we can also go with a grenade if we want to. That seems like it'll make things real easy. So let's do things trial and error to see if we can uh, kind of figure out who's in here and do it the best way. It looks like we would also move him over here if we want to. So we can have each of them enter the room differently. And uh, let's go ahead and plan it out here. We're going to try to sync time. So you can see at the bottom we can actually control how things will go. So we can see here that about... At about four seconds, that's when the flashbang has exploded and clear for our uh, officer to go inside. So let's start here, and I think we'll close we'll close in this way, and we'll make sure the room is clear, and then we'll have them stack up on this door. By the time they reach this door, we'll have our uh, pizza here kick open this door and toss a grenade in into the corner. Let's see here. We want to have him throw a frag grenade into this corner here. Now, once that explodes, we'll go ahead and have this other unit kick open the door. And we'll have them close in together. So we'll have this one come up. And when he's about there, and then if we hold control... We can give them both commands to clear the room together. Oh. To clear the room together. We gotta move that grenade throw though. Should clear out anybody inside the room, hopefully. Okay, let's see if that works out. And uh, see if our timing's good. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I wanna reset the timer. There we go. Okay, let's begin. Flash bang out. Anybody in there is gonna be downed oh this is just the planning phase to make sure it goes okay we got to click the check mark up here too to execute the plan so this is kind of like the um a preview mode of what will go down beforehand so he's holding 
waiting for the other one to come in, and then they pu both push in together into the corners. Okay, well, let's see if that works. Oh, right. So before it was like a mock-up of the room. Now it's the actual space. Oh, nice. That person... Okay, there was somebody there. Let's see how this works. Grenade. Oh, get wrecked. Gotta be one more. Nice. Room clear. So I guess the ultimate goal is to just make absolutely sure that you don't get anybody wounded and go with the maximum speed, minimum damage, and uh, minimum shots too. See if you can kill everybody as quickly as possible. All right, on to the next mission. Another thing too is grenades. Those are OP because we don't have any hostages really to secure, so we can just go in and bulldoze everybody out of the way. But that's still pretty cool. And we can do it however we want and challenge ourselves with different weapons. So this must be like their training center. You can see jeeps and such outside, containers and such sitting around, really reminding me of the wet work preview mission for um, Modern Warfare, where you were doing a little bit of training. I think it was called uh, FNG, and then you went on to uh, wet work, which was a really cool like combo of training. All right, well, we need to push into the center with both of our units so we can equip these guys. We've got Cat and Captain here. <laughs> I wonder if these names are random. Let's go ahead and equip them with what we want. So let's go with the uh, assault rifle and a flashbang. I wonder if we can get them to switch weapons. I haven't seen a tutorial on that yet. I'll have to learn a little bit more. But every day is a learning experience for me. Shotgun, and I think the grenade worked wonderfully last time. Let's go with a flashbang grenade too, just in case. Now I assume too, the less equipment that we use to clear these rooms out, the more points we'll get as well. Now we could also go for the north. That might actually be better because we can clear down then across. So let's do that. Let's change the position to this position in the north. And this position will be good because we can, yep, that's. I think that's gonna be the best call. All right, let's go ahead and start captain by sneaking into the door. Open door silently. And I think we're going to want to just clear here. And I'm assuming the bad guys will be in here, a larger room. We'll open this silently and then throw a flashbang. Now, I don't think they're affected by it because they take cover before it explodes. So once that's done, we'll push into the room and go up here. And I don't think we can open that. Oh. Maybe it's just an open open space. It's not an actual door. Yeah, okay. But this is a door here. All right, so we want to go back to about the very beginning. And we'll let the other guy hold for a minute. So, Cat, I want you to go through. And i also like you to uh, throw a flash bang grenade here. So flash like that. Then push through to the south. And then we'll hold. And right about here, we'll kick the door in. And that creates a crossfire situation, but I don't think it'll matter too much. I don't think anybody will be here. We'll see. Execute the plan. Nice. Check the corner. Two down on the left. Whoa, damn. Looked like he uh, exploded from an explosive pack. <laughs> nice. Good job. Not too bad. Excellent work. Yeah, so again, the goal is to zero out your damage, zero out your time. Make sure you've eliminated all hostiles. And then, of course, oh, if you do one, you oh, there's no way. There's, that would be a huge hit to you. If you did all of this with one unit, that would take double the time. So it's kind of like, a, who do you want to bring with you? Exfiltration missions. All right, so now we got to get out. Maybe we got to rescue somebody. Okay, so it looks like we're trying to leave a building. Interesting. We start in the middle and we got to get to one of the safe points. So kind of the same thing, just in reverse. 
Uh, and I don't know if we have to kill the hostiles inside, but this area here seems like a good way to go. Also, this way it's got a... Uh, they both got very open spaces where enemies are no doubt going to be. Although I think we should probably bring our people to the same spot. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. Now I'm getting some vibes of Hotline Miami. Why do we have a golden shotgun? Precise but needs long aiming, ideal for long range engagements. Okay. I think we want shotguns here, though. These seem like, uh, yeah, they're like, they're like makeshift shotguns. Are we like the bad guys this time around? Weird. I love using those grenades. I want to use those again. That was fun. And let's get our other person ready. So this is Snake and Sugar. Okay, Sugar, let's get you a, another shotgun. I think shotguns are really the way to go here. Don't know why they're using smoke, though, but... Okay, let's push south. We'll open the door silently here. That'll give them good enough time to clear that room. Now let's go back to the beginning and give a Snake orders. I think Snake we can just spawn up here. And go to the door. Now I think it, there's many controls to give them commands like holding uh, control and such and many cool ways to give orders. Now there could be somebody behind us though. We might want to check that. Now this area must be wide open. Let's go back just a little bit. I believe Snake is the one with the... Or Sugar is the one with the grenade. So it's probably a wise idea to toss that in here. Ah, oh, it looks like it can land on the box and throw shrapnel in all directions. Ah, oh, it looks like we can just bust through the door. Okay. Let's go back a little bit. I want this action to take place at the same time on the other side. So we want the grenade to be thrown here. I really like this style of game. It, it's cool how it gives you a way to experiment and do things differently each time. It's uh, good for replayability and also kind of gives you a good ch you know challenge for each time that you play. You could try to do it on the first time or really like punish yourself with very difficult settings of you know, limited weapons and ammo. Okay, let's see. So she's already in her s zone there. Let's see. Okay, I want to do this a little earlier, though. So let's time that throw a little earlier. Okay, right about here. Now we gotta open the door first. Open door. Flashbang. Ah, perfect. And they're out pretty much at the same time. Okay, let's give that a shot. Of course, you're just guessing as to where the enemy's going to be. Okay, they've gotta be in these rooms. No! Oh wow, hiding right behind the door. All these two killed by the grenade, nice. Well, one of them took a little bit of extra damage, but not too bad. 74 out of 200. So I guess each of their lives is 100, so that person almost died. Not bad though, new best score. Play next mission. Oh, and of course, wonderful little gifts. <laughs> oh boy. That's awesome. Alright, so with the full game, we'll be able to play more missions and a full campaign. There seems to be quite a bit of content here. I like the practice mode of setting up and then seeing it in real time, too. And it it makes it feel like you're really preparing for a very serious infiltration or exfiltration. Let's see what the challenges entail now. Uh, daily challenge, weekly, and monthly challenge. Ooh, we can actually toy around with multiple. Oh, let's try to do a, a three stack. Uh, last waypoint arriving time. Oh, these are tutorials. Okay, let's see what this has to offer. Alright, so now that we're loaded in... Ah, okay, so now we have a much bigger challenge now. 
Exfiltrate your team to the marked location. So we got to start inside and go all the way through the room. So it looks like these will be handcrafted things the developers put out each month or day or week in order to really challenge the community for highest scores and stuff. That's cool. How many people do we have here? Fly? Ice? I love the names. Nitro? These all seem like characters on American Gladiators. Well, let's go with Snake and Sugar again. They were awesome. And we have a lot more weapons to choose from this time. Shotgun seems to be the end-all be-all. Very powerful stuff. So now we're going to see a much more complicated uh, run, I think, with multiple people. Snake and Sugar are definitely going in. Nitro has to. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm, to I'm totally getting American Gladiator vibes from these names. It's crazy. Wow, you're going to go in with a welding mask? Okay. Now, I think if we bring a full squad, it's... I think we want to do this with less people, but I think we have to do it with a minimum of these people. I, I guess we could bring a whole squad if we want. I guess let's just do that, because that'll just be cool. Goldie, more like goalie. Okay. <laughs> Ice, right. Oh, the, is that incognito? Okay. Now the key here is going to try to be to remember what everybody's got on them for a weapon. I wonder if there's a way to actually tell. It looked like there was a tab for that, actually. Oh, cool. Is this a sniper rifle? Oh, wow. That's much more... Wow, that seems like it has an incredible power. Although they're all the same, though. There's no difference. It's more appearance, I guess. Well, let's bring that rifle. And we'll bring Skull there and Fly will be next. Okay, well, this will be interesting. So the team needs to make it out. And there seems to be only be one way to go. Or across. But the goal is probably going to be to clear the entire room. So let's give it a... We'll give it a shot or two and see how it goes. Oh, actually, it does show their weapon hovered above them in different colors, too, if we zoom in close enough. That is great. That's very helpful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's cool. That's helpful for me. All right, let's begin. We'll have one stack up here. Open the door. And clear things out. We should be able to bring two of them as, as well, so let's go with two. So as you can see, I can hold control here and kind of follow the other one right behind. So Snake is going to take the lead here. And we'll bring back time a little bit. Now there's probably somebody in that corner. we got to check, check those corners. I can hear it now from Captain Price. But luckily, right about here, we can do just that. And fall in behind. So right about here, we can get everybody to stack up. Wow, look at how complicated this can get. That's really cool. So at this point, we'll get everybody in. Now again, every second counts. The faster we do this, the better. I guess I'm just going for a hope everybody survives scenario. <laughs> look at this. Wow. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Undo. There we go. And let's go for the door now. Got to be a door here that we can open. Got to be a door since it's the only way out. Is this like a rolling door? What? Oh, it's it's an open door. My, my mistake. An open door. Oh, I want these guys leaving much earlier. So around here, everybody should be leaving. So actually, I need to ask everybody to leave much earlier. There's many other ways to control this. It's really cool how intricate it can be. I just want to make sure everybody's somewhat together here. Now, I don't think the enemy can throw a grenade. That'd be a death sentence for our squad, so... It's kind of a good thing that we... 
have everyone cl clumped together for now. These are really tight spaces. Okay, we'll get everybody to stack. Damn, that is complicated as hell, but that is cool that we have a plan like that. Jeez, this is going to be complicated. All right, well. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay, once these two start to move, everyone else can come through. We're going to order everybody up. Bum, bum, bum. Good music, I like it. It's very mysterious as to like, oh, what's happening? Who's out there? Who's waiting for us? I feel like we could just clear with these two for simplicity. And then just have everyone else bring up the rear. Get extra points or something. Wow. It's like a bank robbery gone bad or something. Okay, we're going to have two of them go up here. Oh, it's so crowded. Oh, we only have one minute to do this. Okay. So time is going to be over in one minute. Wow. Okay. Now, is it is it a requirement that we have a certain number of team members? That's crazy. All right, let's start over all the way then. So if I can get rid of a bunch of teammates, I think I just want like two shotgunners. Let's just go with these two. And then I can add the rest of the team at the end to see if we can get the exfiltration. But actually, can we? Okay, I think we can just, this will be a mission fail, I think. But let me just see if it, uh... does it say anything about requirement of exfiltration? No, okay. I just wanted to see if it said anything about required numbers. Alright, let's try for real now. Okay, we don't want any delay here. Yeah, we want them synced. So holding control allows me to move them simultaneously. Okay, we're 15 seconds in. I don't think we need a whole whole group here. But really, I guess the whole goal would be to A, first figure out where everybody is by running the scenario, and then you'll know exactly where to throw flashbangs and such by a failed run. It seems to be the only way to do it, because you'll know where everybody is. And I don't know if we have to clear everybody in each of the rooms, but... Let's go back a little bit. And we can burst through. This is going to be a big shootout here, more than likely. Wow, imagine planning this out for a 6 bit. This is going to be good crazily complicated. That's cool. Alright, we're out in 37 seconds. 
You have one minute to do all your all your missions. Crazy. Go back a bit. That should bring us out to the point. Okay, let's try that with just two. Like, three or four people is going to be crazily complicated. There was one more flashbang on them, wasn't there? Let's have a flashbang thrown. Now let's try that. Let's see what happens. Well, it's like a bank robbery. So we get to be the good uh, good guys, the bad guys, the good buys to some of the good guys. So far, so good. A few enemies down. Ooh, some enemies behind them. Oh, wow. Look at all those cops. Whoa. Oh, we almost made it. Damn. Not too bad for a first run. Oh, sorry about that, lady. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So there were quite a few cops here, so we need to change some of our uh, observations in this area. Is there a way we can, like... Now we just have to redo the, the whole patrol, I guess. And we need that flashbang to be thrown down here. Actually, let's go back a little bit. So yeah, so now that we know the position of all the uh, the cops and such, it's seemingly a much better idea to just go straight for the uh, straight for the exit after getting some eliminations in. Oh, don't you gotta wait for the uh, grenade there, my man. Stack up right behind, then flash bang, and then go. All right, let's see if that works. Cool. I, I like the whole trial and error of this game. I, I really like to uh, to game that way. It looks like it's going to be different outcomes each time too. Like last time, we didn't take any damage at all. Or oh, the cops in different positions. Last time, someone was down there. You saw somebody there, didn't you? Okay. Oh, there's no way. Last time we made it much further. I wonder if they change each time. Let's try that one more time to... Oof. Let's try it one more time just to see if, if the officers are in different positions. Maybe they have patrol patterns that change? Oh yeah, they're in different spots. So your plan could succeed on its like third try just based on where the officers spawn in the in the office areas. Oh wow. Oh wow, that was an absolute kill zone. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's do it again. I, I think it'll honestly work if we just kind of like keep just waiting for the spawn to go in the right direction. Like, if everybody's in the right position, we'll be okay. Like, this time we haven't taken any damage, from what I can see. Two of them down. It's gonna be a lot on the left. Oh, wow. Oh, man, they're so close to getting through there. All right, we'll try one more time for fun. I love this. This is just fantastic. So the real problem begins here, where we need to spread out a little bit. And then we need to make our way this way. We really need to give ourselves a little time to make sure everything's clear. 
I don't think there's going to be any cops in this way, so we really need to be up on the... Actually, they both have grenades, so why don't you stack up here then? Okay. Hopefully there's not somebody on that upper left corner. But again, the spawn could change. And think about doing this in the precise time. You know, like with maximum uh, time save. It's crazy. It's going to be super cool to see what everybody can do. Oh wow, three of them right there. Okay, we took an extra second. No one here this time. Waiting for the other person, but they're not here. Wow. Closer, closer that time. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try with no changes. Wish me luck. Pinto bless. If we don't do it, make sure you go ahead and download this right now on Steam. And go ahead and uh, tweet me or go on our Discord and show me some footage of you giving this a try. I'd love to see what everybody's strategies are for getting through these rooms. Is it better to bring two people? Is it better, better to bring like four or five? You can obviously watch more angles, but that's also more uh, more people to, uh, to manage and deal with. Looks like our plan's okay. Slow reload on those shotguns. Quarter of a health bar left here. Nice. It's a hell of a lot of. It's like the police station from Terminator, uh, the original Terminator. All right, Pinto Bless. Can we make it out? Oh, no flashbang, huh? It's an awful long wait. What the hell? Oh, she's dead. For sure. No way. What? Oh, damn. One out of two. Wait, you kicked open both doors? That's not necessary. Somewhat complete. Cool. All right. Definitely some room for improvement, and I can't wait to get some more action in on No Plan B. You guys have been amazing. Thank you very much. That's definitely something you don't want to hear when you go to the pharmacy after a fun night. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for being the best audience in YouTube. You guys are amazing, and I cannot wait for 1 million subscribers. We've all earned it. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.